Hi, welcome to the Brief Book Reviews channel, otherwise known as an old guy reviews the book that he's read this week. So what's the old guy read this week? Well, the book I read this week is called The Search Party by author Hannah Rachel. Uh, it was published by Simon & Schuster here in the UK on the 18th of January 2024 as a hardback. And it's Hannah's fifth book. So what's it all about, I hear you say? Well, a bit of a clue on the front cover. It says, five old friends, one long weekend, a holiday to die for. And a picture of a glamping type site on the front. So this is the tale of five friends that met at university. We have Max and Annie, we have Dominic, Jim and Kira. They kept in touch since university days. And this weekend, they're all off to a remote part of Cornwall. It turns out Max and Annie, who were living in London and had a successful architecture business, have moved to the countryside. They've moved to a remote part of Cornwall where they bought some land and they're, they're going to set up as a glamping site. They're still waiting for permission to, uh, to open some, uh, some licenses from the local council. So I thought it'd be a great idea to invite their friends down for a weekend for a, a test run, if you will. So we have Max and Annie and their son Kip is adopted and he's got some behavioural problems. The move to a remote part of Cornwall was regarded as something beneficial for him. We have their friend Dominic, his second wife Tanya, his kids Scarlett, Felix and Phoebe. And we have Jim and his wife Susie, their kids Willow, River and Juniper. And we have Kira and her new boyfriend Fred and her five month old baby Asher. Uh, so they're all heading to uh, Max and Annie's uh, for a weekend away from it all. They're a little bit nervous because the last time they met up for, for an adults only do at Kira's 40th birthday, it didn't end well where Kira got slightly drunk and basically had a go at them all. So a little bit of nerves. Some of the older kids don't want to be there. Clearly, they'd rather be at home with their mates. But, so there, there's that sort of, you know... Uh, the others are saying, yeah, Max and Annie done the right thing here. They've moved from London down to this remote site. They're going to set up a glamping business. Do, do they know what they're doing? So yeah, that's basically the start of the book. So the basic plot of the book involves the couple being, they're all on the campsite. The, uh, the women go off one way. The men are left in charge of the kids. The kids go off to uh, to go to find a, a swing that... Uh, Kip, the local lad, knows about. And uh, a storm comes in. They're coming back from uh, they're coming back from the, where they've gone to. They, they eventually end up down by the beach. And uh, there's a bull in the field. The kids get separated. Phoebe's lost. So hence the term, the search party. So against the background of a storm coming in where all of a sudden power lines are going, there's no internet, there's no phone. They need to look for... Phoebe, the youngest, the six-year-old, who's gone missing. So that's part of the plot. The second part of the plot is during the uh, the evolution of the story, and there's lots of lies and secrets unveiled as we go through. Uh, there's a body been found, but we don't know right to the end who the body is and who the perpetrators and the murderer are. So the thing to, the thing that I liked about this book is that it's, it's the way the story is constructed. We have a chapter for each one of the people involved and we see it going back and forward from the start of the weekend to the end of the weekend and we see snippets of, of the story developing. We know the basic story of the little girl getting lost and people you know, searching for her, trying to find her. We know there's a dead body, but it's not until right at the very end of the book that we find out who the dead body is and who the perpetrator or perpetrators are. Um, the tension builds really, really well. And it's a very well-constructed book. I, I really enjoyed that part because you don't know right until the end what's really going on. We get snippets as, as we go through the book and we see the characters. And it's quite an emotional book because the characters are looking at uh, their choices, their life choices, their family choices. And, and lots of secrets and lies and duplicity come out during the the course of this weekend where they're all put under a, they're in a sort of pressure cooker if you will with the storm coming in the the, the fact that they're isolated so perhaps some of the uh, the true characters are revealed so I, I really enjoyed the book it, it's, it's very suspenseful it's very cleverly written cleverly constructed and um, yeah i'd definitely give it eight out of ten so that's it for this week's brief book review 
10 10 till we do it again thanks for watching